gone ahead and created the template that we're going to be using. It's a really simple thank you note um, because we want to automate uh, writing our thank you notes for receiving all of the gifts that we get from everybody constantly. So if you've done any of the other videos, you'll recognize what this is here, a variable uh, signified by it being surrounded by curly braces and docassymbol is going to insert whatever the value is for the variable recipient right here. Same with recipient address, city, state, and zip code. But that's not what's important about this template. What's important is this. This little bit of logic that we're going to be manipulating in our interview. So if you'll notice, instead of two curly braces here, we're using one curly brace and a percent sign and closing it out the same way at the end, and then writing a really simple if statement. And here we have if explanation underscore needed. So if the variable explanation needed is equal to true, DACA symbol is going to insert this line of text and also this variable explanation. Notice here that there are two equal signs, and if you remember from previous videos, the two equal signs is always an evaluation. So DACA symbol is looking at this phrase and saying, let me see if explanation needed is equal to true or false. That's why you use two equal signs. Also notice that you have to close out your statement at the end with if again surrounded by curly braces and percent signs. So now that we have our template, we're going to go ahead and go over to our DACA symbol interview and begin coding that. I've gone ahead and uploaded our template to DACA symbol, and I also went ahead and put in the ending question um, to generate the document from the template. One note before we get started, in the template I used uh, the variable name explanation. I had forgotten that that's a reserved term that you're not supposed to use. Um, so I've changed that to just explain instead of explanation. So in the template, you want to make sure to um, not use the term explanation as a variable. Uh, learn something new every day. So let's go ahead and start coding our interview. And we'll put in the first question so that we can answer who are we actually writing to. And we'll put in our fields of the person's name, address, city, state, and zip code. Whoops. In other videos, I talk about why I like to make the template first and then create the interview around the template. And this is just another example of why. I can go ahead and put in our variables as these guys. And I'll save that, and that should um, take some of those unresolved variables away. So you'll remember in our template we have the logic block that if explanation needed is true, then it's going to populate the variable explain. So we have a couple of different ways to do this, and um, we'll be talking about each of them in turn. The first one I want to show is how to do a conditional field that shows up if you choose that explanation is needed. So let's go ahead and um, create our question that's going to hold both of those variables. So we'll put, do you want to explain why? Whoops. And then we'll have our first field. We won't have a label and we'll make it explanation needed. So on this one we're going to make it a certain data type, the yes no radio field. 
and this will populate it as radio buttons where the choices are just yes or no. So you're answering the question, do you want to explain why, and choosing yes or no. Yes makes explanation needed true, no makes it false. So now let's put in our field for where we want our explanation. And we'll make explain that. And now we're going to put in some logic so that this field only shows if explanation needed is chosen as true or yes. So we'll put in a show if statement. And this is how you do it. Show if and then go down and indent. You can use tab, show if variable explanation needed and then go back to spaces is true and we'll go ahead and make this an area field because you might want to explain a little bit more than one line of text so let's save that and see what happens okay it checks out we don't see any obvious errors so let's go ahead and try and save and run that so now we're running through our test of the interview we just wrote. And you'll see we're filling out who are we thinking. So we'll thank Joe. Joe's address is 12345 Street Way. City is Podunk. State Florida. Zip is 12345. And once we hit continue, we get our next question. Do you want to explain why? You'll remember that when coding our interview, we had two questions really in this question block. Do you want to explain why? And then if so, please explain. So now you'll see what happens with the conditional field. If we choose yes, then the explanation block is shown. If we choose no, we don't see it. So let's go ahead and choose yes and make sure everything works because it's awesome. and hit continue and we'll see if we got the expected behavior of populating explain with because it's awesome and we do thank you for your gift because it's awesome not really the best thank you letter but it works for now and Joe doesn't really care that much so we'll close that out and um, we can go back and see if it works if we just choose no and then it won't populate the variable explain. And so here is your thank you letter. And you'll see we don't really have an explanation. It just says thank you for your gift. So our conditional field is working as expected. So now we're going back to our interview and you remember in the second question it had two parts. Do you want to explain why and then a space for the explanation if you chose yes or no and it showed up if you chose yes and it didn't show up if you chose no. But there's a different way to do this. Uh, one of the cool things about DocAssembly is you can make entire questions conditional upon other variables. So let's separate this out into two questions and put our three lines here and up at the top of our next question block we'll put in the conditional logic to determine whether or not explanation needed is yes or no so this should look familiar show if explanation needed and then instead of is you use equal signs so our evaluation sign of two equals equals true and then we'll put our question under that explain and then our fields and now that we have this up at the top to evaluate explanation needed we don't need it to show down at the bottom so we can delete that and we'll save it and we'll run it to see what happens okay again we're gonna thank Joe his address one two three or five street 
way city po po not state is Florida and zip is one two three four five and hit continue and see what happens do you want to explain why let's say yes okay there's our explanation block and we'll see what happens if we choose no and it just generates our thank you letter without the explanation so that's another way to uh, make variables conditional inside your interview you want to think about what your user is doing how they're interacting with the interview and whether or not you want to make fields conditional as part of a big question or if you want to just make the entire question conditional So with DocAssembly, not only can you make uh, fields and questions show up if the user chooses a certain answer, you can also make them go away. And the way that you do this is using hide if instead of show if. So we'll go ahead and revert back to um, what we had before and um, save it. And you'll remember down at the bottom here, this is where we had our show if logic. So instead of show if, we're going to do a hide if. And it's the very same format that we had before. Okay, so now instead of explanation needed being true, we want to hide it if explanation needed is false. And it would help if I could spell. So now if the user chooses, do you want to explain why no, then the explanation field will just hide itself. So let's see what happens when we save and run this interview. Okay, we have our start field again. We're going to answer with Joe. Street way again. And you'll see that the explanation field is showing because the user hasn't chosen anything yet. So if the user chooses yes, the field will stay. But if they choose no, it goes away. So yes to have it show up and no to have it disappear. So this is just another way you can make a field conditional upon another one where it goes away if the user chooses a certain answer. So now I want to talk about one of the other ways that you can have conditional questions in an interview and questions that show up if, an, if a user chooses yes or no or makes a certain selection on a variable. I want to take us back to our template and I've changed it a little bit since the beginning of the video. Uh, you'll remember that I had to change explanation to explain and I also simplified this logic out. You really don't need if explanation needed double equal sign true um, this actually works just as well for evaluating whether or not explanation needed is true. It's just a little bit better to write it out long ways than have it in shorthand like I do here. Remember we have to end everything too with our end if statement. On our template we have this logic already embedded so the variable explain is dependent on explanation needed being true or false. DocAssembly being a very smart piece of programming can evaluate in the template whether or not there's logic. So it's looking at the template to see what is dependent upon other variables and it will base the questions that it asked in the interview on the logic in the template. So now, keeping that in mind, we can separate out our do you want to explain why question back into two questions. 
and not put the show if logic at the top. So we'll put in the language for our question. Fields. And you'll notice we don't have any logic in this question to say, ask this question if explanation needed is true or false. But let's see what happens when we save and run the interview. Back at our starting screen, we'll answer Joe. Podunk Way, city is, this is a different Joe, I believe. And we have our regular question, do you want to explain why? Let's see what happens when we answer yes. Okay, we got our next question. But let's see what happens when we answer no. It generates our letter. So you can see that by generating, so you can see that by using logic in our templates, that lets us cheat a little bit in the language of our interview, that we don't have to have the show if logic up here on top of this question where it shows up only if this is true or false. DocAssembly is looking at the template to see what variables are needed. When we choose no on do you want to explain why, DocAssembly is saying, okay, we don't need a value for this variable, so we don't need to answer the question, so I won't need to show it to the user. DocAssembly is very smart that way. So keep that in mind when you're coding these interviews, and you can save yourself a little bit of time by working with the template first and by putting your logic in there.